Goldman Equipment Company. We're not just in your field, we're in your backyard. Setting up a task for data processing in a John Deere 2630 display. We want to hit the menu button, go to the GS3 icon, and we want to make sure that all of our information is set up correctly. So in this case, we'll start on the right hand side and work down, click on GS3, and then click on resources. And then we want to make sure that we have a client, farm, field, task, crop season, and operator selected there. Then we want to go to equipment, make sure that we have a machine type, machine model, machine name, connection point, and recording source highlighted and selected. We want to click on or push on implement. We want to make sure that we have an implement type. In this case, will be a planner. Implement model is 1720. And then a implement name is 17 or 12 or 38 for 12 row 38. And we want to make sure that our widths are all correctly. So our implement is 38 feet. Our tracking spacing is 38 feet. And our physical width is 38 feet. In that case, you realize that my physical width that I entered was lower than my implement width, so it gave me that error. So now I selected 38 feet for the correct width. After we have the equipment set up correctly, we then need to go in and set up the documentation page. And this is very important for collecting the correct equipment information for planning, yield, and elevation processing. So to set up your documentation, click on document, and then we want to go up to new, and in this case we will be planting or seeding, or if we were harvesting we would select harvest, or if we were applying a application we would do product application. So in this case, we're planning. So we would click on planning or seeding. We're gonna set up everything in here that is required. So seed type would be corn. And then we would click on add variety. In this case, we're gonna be planting corn. And the variety is one, two, three, four, five. Uh, to be more specific, you would put in the brand that you want and the variety that you want. Then we would hit accept. And now you have everything in the documentation set up for it to properly record all of the tractor information for planning, harvest, and data processing. You can also click on advanced setup and you can go in there and put um, any kind of application you're putting out. We can put an in ground tillage practice can be uh, conventional tillage, and we can put the, the the seed height or depth there. That's just some advanced settings that you can enter. Also, if you have a variable rate seeding prescription card, you would click on the RX emblem in the bottom right hand corner, and the prescription name would be entered there. You would select it, and then it would import the prescription file for planning into your documentation. So with that, we will hit our home screen and we will start operating. To begin documentation, you would start as you would normally start, let's say planning, take off from the tractor, hit auto for auto track and you let your planter down. And in this case, the red light is blinking by recording. So we are documenting our operation. And in this case, you can see that we're recording, our red light is blinking, and we are 
auto tracking and we are creating a blue documentation line if we had our legend set up for measuring seating rate the coverage map would be changing with the amount of seating rate that we were applying and it would not be just blue and one way to verify that your documentation is set up correctly while you're going along or you could do it while you're stopped you could hit menu go to GS3 hit on totals and as your average productivity is changing and your acres work is changing and your time work is changing it lets you know that you are documenting and collecting the data that you will need for planting, harvest, and elevation processing. And to go back to your run screen, just simply hit home. And that's how you properly set up a task for documentation for yield planning and elevation processing. Visit us at www.goldmanequipment.com. Also, check out some of our other instructional YouTube videos.